Hey guys! So today's video is a makeup tutorial on the look I'm wearing right here. It is using my new ColourPop collab. Um, I came out with a new quad and then two new lipsticks. Two of these. And for those of you who don't follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you guys are like, what? Because I have not discussed this on my channel yet. But I will have an entire video dedicated to this tomorrow because tomorrow is the launch date, this is not available today, it's not available yet, but it will go up for sale tomorrow. So I'm gonna have a whole video dedicated to my new quad and my new lipsticks, swatches, and everything, but I wanted to film a quick tutorial using my new quad. This new little collection is called Where the Night Is, and I am so, so happy with it. I hope you guys really like the colors. I wanted to do something a little bit more bold, so for today I am using two of the shades in the quad. I'm using this one right here called Porter. Yes, it, I named it after my dog. <laughs> this one is called Porter. And then the really pretty pop of rose gold on the lid is this one right here and it's called Weenie, which Weenie is what I call Celine. I really, really love how this turned out. I'm also using the lippy stick in Aquarius which is one of the lipsticks I created. So if you wanna see how to get this makeup tutorial, it's like a rose gold halo with a little bit of warmth. I really hope you enjoy it. If you wanna see how to get this look, then just keep watching. So as always, I'm priming my eyes with MAC's Prep and Prime 24 Hour Extended Eye Base. This primer is amazing with ColourPop shadows because it really helps them stick to your lids. I love this primer. And then I'm gonna take translucent powder and just dust that over my lid so that everything blends smoothly. So I'm going to take Makeup Geek's eyeshadow in the shade Creme Brulee and this is a Sephora Pro blending crease brush and I'm just dusting this into my crease as my transition shade. Then I'm going to take Mirage also by Makeup Geek and I'm going to use this as my brow bone highlight. It's kind of like a mix between a matte and a sheen. It's a really pretty eyeshadow. Now I'm going to take Porter from the quad and I love this eyeshadow. Look it says Porter. I love it so much. And I'm going to start by applying this with my finger, and I'm just putting this on my entire lid. And then I decided to switch over to a synthetic brush. Synthetic brushes work best with ColourPop eyeshadows, as opposed to like natural hair brushes. So I'm just applying this all over my lid, bringing it up to the crease and make sh making sure that everything is nice and blended. And then I'm just going to go back into the eyeshadow and making it more pigmented on the lid and then I got out of the frame, you know, as usual. So I'm going to take Makeup Geek's eyeshadow in the shade Cocoa Bear and this is another brush by Pure. It looks like a MAC 217 only it's like a synthetic version which is perfect to blend out ColourPop eyeshadows. And I'm just applying Cocoa Bear into my crease and blending it all out. Now I'm going to take Weenie, my favorite shade, and with my finger I'm going to apply this to the center of my eyeball, kind of like where my pupil is, if you know what I'm saying. So I'm just applying that to my lid and then blending it out with like my own finger. And then I'm gonna go back into the shade Porter and I'm gonna apply this to the outer corners and the inner corner. I'm trying to create like a halo eye effect. I only want Weenie to stand out like right in the center of the lid. So I'm going to move on to my face before I finish up my eyes. I'm going to prime my face with the Nivea Postman Shave Balm and I'm going to apply that to my entire face. And then I'm going to take my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation in the shade 140 and I'm just going to like skim through this because you've seen me put on my foundation about 6 trillion times. So I'm just applying that with a flat top Kabuki by Morphe and just, you know, blending that in as usual. As usual. Now I'm going to take my Bare Minerals um, concealer, I think this is called like the Serum Concealer, I'm not exactly sure, I will have the name down below, and I'm just applying this underneath my eyes and other plates, plates, no, other places of my face to highlight, and then I'm blending that all in with my Sedona Lace 217 brush. And to set all that, because as you can see, that concealer leaves your face like kind of dewy. Um, so I'm going to take my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Press Powder and I'm going to apply that underneath my eyes just to set the concealer to help it from not creasing and to take away like that ultra dewiness. And then I'm just going to apply this everywhere else I put that concealer. 
Okay, so let's finish the eyes. I'm gonna take Porter again on a pencil brush. This is a pencil brush from Morphe and it's a synthetic pencil brush, which is perfect, you know, like I've been saying. So I'm applying that to my lower lash line from the outer corner all the way into the inner corner. And then I'm gonna apply black eyeliner. This is from NYX, it's their gel black eyeliner. And I'm gonna tight line with this and apply this to my waterline as well. And then I'm also going to take that same black eyeliner and apply it really, really close to my top lashes. Kind of like if I'm making an eyeliner, but I'm not. I just want some definition, just not too much. And then I'm going to take my um, pencil brush and blend that all out so there are no harsh lines. Now I'm going to take Makeup Geek's Cocoa Bear and I'm going to blend out my lower lash line with that a little bit just so that it looks exactly like the top part of my eye. I'm going to go back into Weenie with a pencil brush and I'm going to apply this directly under where Weenie is on the top lid and then I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black. And then to highlight my inner corners, I am using the Kiko eyeshadow in the shade 208, which is MAC Whisper of Guilt. It's a dupe, totally the same thing. So to finish off my face, I'm gonna take the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Kit, and I'm gonna take light cocoa and apply this underneath my eyes, just to kind of brighten up under there a little bit. Then I'm gonna take Medium Cocoa, and this is the perfect undertone for contouring, and I'm gonna contour my face. This is a Sephora brush, like when they collabed with Hakuhodo. It's a synthetic, like, tulip style brush. I really like it. I bought it at Sephora, it's nice. So I'm just contouring my face with this. You guys know that I don't like a super, super harsh contour. That's just me, you can go ham if you want to. The world is your oyster. I'm just gonna do a nice, soft contour. Contour. And now I'm gonna take this Nude Spectrum Blush Palette by um, Zoeva, and I'm gonna take this pinky nude shade, and I'm gonna apply this to my cheeks, to my cheeks. I was gonna say cheekbones, but no, my cheeks. This is an e.l.f. face powder brush. And I'm just applying a light, light layer to my face. Then to highlight my brow bone, I'm going to take that same Kiko 208 water eyeshadow and apply this to my cheekbones. But I wanted something a little bit more. So I took this Laura Geller Duo. It has French Vanilla and Portofino. Those are both highlights and I just mixed them both together and I applied it to my brow, my brow bone. What is wrong with me? To my cheekbones. The tops of my cheekbones. And then I applied it to my inner corners as well, just so that everything can, you know, be matchy-matchy. For my lips, I am taking the Lippy pencil I created with ColourPop in the shade Aquarius. And I'm applying this to my entire lips and filling them in as well. And then I'm going to take the Aquarius lip stick and apply it right on top. It's a cream finish, so it has a nice, like, glossy finish. I love it. Oh, and I was smelling it because it smells so good. I don't know what's different about these, but they smell 10 times better than the regular lipsticks. But anyway, that completes this makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!